Today, spread, spread, transfer, swipe. I want to show you the spreaders that I'm using. I got the more expensive version. It's a Bondo. You can find it in the car department, the town depot, local hardware store. Would be better because support the small guys, not the big guys. They're already big. I got the more expensive ones at my local hardware store. Those are the ones that I use. And I want to show you what I want to do today. I want to go bigger. And I did something yesterday. See, this has interference gold and black. That's all. And this is black interference gold and green ash. Let me show you the second one that really did it for me. It's that guy. Um, I don't know. I hope you can see that. <laughs> the, ooh, it's still wet. Oh, shh. I want to do that. Bigger. Oh, I have those ovals. Let me find you one. Totally addicted to those canvases. Can buy 24, 20, and oh, uh, yeah, awesome canvases. You don't have to do anything with the edges. Yep, big guy. I'm gonna show you the colors. So I ran out of black, so I used. Amsterdam's Paints Gray and Amsterdam is way different than my favorite Paints Gray which is Golden's Paints Gray that is actually more like a dark blue while this is gray a blue blaustichig a bluey gray Golden is more a grayish blue so this is way too thick, but I'm going to show you anyway. So you know what is actually too thick. See the mount on there? It just stays there. So I couldn't, I couldn't thin it more because my container is full. I'm going to fix that in a minute. You don't have to watch. Star of the show. This guy. It's red. It's actually that red, that red. Uh, this is Grenache. It looks red metallic. And this is a meteorite. It's a pewter -ish silvery brass. I got the same color by mixing silver and brass. Sometimes you, you don't have to buy expensive pigment if you have those colors anyway. Silver with a dash of brass. Bronze. Bronze. And you get the same color. Then I have this guy. It looks like head of fur. I guess that guy. Hey, Helga. <laughs> Her color. She's a little rougher, not as sparkly. Um, this is Interference Gold by Color Art. And that is it. I have a black cell activator. My standard, it's golden, steep gold and bright gold mixed together. <laughs> Australian Photo Paint one to one. So if you take the Shelly Art course. The official mixing is one part paint, four parts Australian Floetrol. I like it way thicker. So if you took that course, I really want to tell you to experiment, to get all the ingredients, 
get small tiles, small canvases and start practicing. And if it doesn't work the first time, try it again. Take notes. If your recipe doesn't work, change one thing. Yeah. Take notes. Yeah. <laughs> See that? If you did, Niners had did a touchdown. Um, what was I going to say? If you have ingredients that you know that work, that others use, and they make it work, you probably will make it work too. You just need to tweak it a little bit, like consistency. The more you experiment, the more you observe, the more you, you know, practice, the better you'll get. I dropped my stick. Um, let's go painting. Okay, guys, this is sped up a little. I'm sure you all know how to flood a canvas. That is my gluten essentials and eggshell. And I use actually less pillow than I would normally use if I swiped right on that canvas. And like I told you in my last video, um, you can get away with a thinner pillow and also with less because when you transfer a swipe you already have pillow on that swipe and you stretch out your cells already by transferring so you don't need to spin it as much or um, tilt it as much keep that in mind and also when I do the transfer itself um, I use actually less pillow than I would do with a regular bloom or swipe. Yes, you want that pillow below, but also you want more paint on top because you will stretch it so much that the paint will get transparent or disappear, all that kind of stuff. my black cell activator on my tool and just a little bit of the paint spray and swipe there's different things you can do you could try to achieve lines or cells and to me the cell part is um, the most appealing but also the hardest part but when i look at this i think the lines are pretty cool too because they are so crisp and clear you can't get that with a regular ribbon pour I'm gonna spin it out just to even out the paint before I put the next swipe on. Um, and I really like the first swipe. That is a good one. The second one, not so much. Um, so I'm working on the composition a little bit because I wanna keep negative space. And if I lose the negative space in the early stages, there's a um, good chance that there will no negative space be left when I'm done. Um, so let's add 
another one. My tiny little pillow first. Paints gray. A lot of that because I want that swipe to be different. Maybe a little bit darker, so I add the paints gray first. And uh, quite a bit. Then the interference gold on top of that. This is the meteorite and the Grenache I will use both of my cell activators. That was the black. And I should be mm -hmm, getting the gold. And now I just swipe. Here you can see again how good it would be to have a plan. I had, I mean, I thought about it, and but when I start doing things, then I just <laughs> do it. And you would think that's a good thing, but um, I don't know. For one thing, I'm absolutely out of frame. And then I put this red thing there. <laughs> ah, guys, this is so tough. Okay, um, of course I realized that I messed up and I tried to stay out of frame and place the rest of my swipe somewhere. I will speed this up because, yeah, out of frame. <laughs> Sorry, it'll get better though. Okay, let's fix that with more swipes.
even though I'm again not 100% happy about the composition, I think this piece is pretty neat. The first vibe was just beautiful, you can see it when I get you down in a second. There. And the red in contrast is very pretty. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll watch again. Share, like, subscribe, comment, give me tips, criticism, anything. Thank you.